What's going on everybody, Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are stepping away from a lot of the meta Pokemon and using a fun team for Regulation D. Today, we are rocking out with a Sylveon team that also features the Rain Combo, Basket Legion, and Pelipper. We got Sneasler, Wochan, and then we got Sheer Force Landers. Really cool team. A lot of these Pokemon you don't see too much on the rank ladder, so should be a fun one. Hopefully, we get to grab you guys a winning record and play this team really well. But you guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content, Meantime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Wo Chan is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And ever since Regulation D came into effect, we've been seeing less and less of Wo Chan. So feels good to be using him again. He's got Tie Bits of Ruin as its ability, the Assault Vest as item, Rock and Leaf Storm, Ruination, Foul Play, and Snarl. In our second slot, we're rocking out with Choice Spec Sylveon. He's got Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Hyper Beam. Inside Shock with that Water Terror, Choice Back Sylveon always solid because its HP stats and its defensive stats are solid as well, so we can outbulk some shots and at the same time get off some big time damage. In our third slot, we got the heavy hitting Sheer Force Landers with the Life Orb as item, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Sand Seer Storm, and Protect as its moveset. If you get this Pokemon into the rain, Sand Seer, Seer Storm will actually hit 100% of the time, so it's really really good to pair up that with Pelipper. Sneasler is in our fourth slot, and Sneasler has just been so good, especially when you can trigger its unburdened ability by losing your item. So we got the Citrus Berry as the item with Fake Out, Close Combat, Dire Claw, and Faint for Pokemon that want to protect or Pokemon that are on 1 HP. So really liking Sneasler in the Regulation D meta. Bash Legion is in our fifth slot. It's going to be Pelipper's best friend in today's video with Swift Swim, Double its Speed in the Rain, and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got a great move set of Wave Crash, Last Respects, Aqua Jet, and Protect. In the final slot, we got Pelipper over here, really good at that rain and really good paired up next to Bashing Legion. We got Drizzle with the safety goggles, Rocket Helping Hand, Protect, Hurricane, and Hydro Ball. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder, try to get some wins with this off meta rain team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a semi trick room team. They got Cresselia alongside with Zoomrill, rocking out with Ursaluna and Iron Hands, and then the other side of the team is Fluttermane and Shiyu. They're definitely going to be bringing in Fluttermane and Shiyu. I could definitely see them popping trick room as well. So, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I could go into Sneasler right off the rip, and I think I am going to do it just in case they want to lead Iron Hands and maybe try to fake me out. We can definitely get after it that way and try to get after the battle. So, I'm going to go Sneasler. As a nice level lead, I'm also going to go into Sylveon. Get Sylveon cooking with the choice specs. I like its typing here. It can really rip into a lot of Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm all about Sylveon with the choice specs. We will bring our Wu Chen. Do we want our Wu Chen? Its speed's good, but its ability's going to be great, especially up against Azumarill, Ursaluna, and Iron Hands. But other than that, it gets ripped on by the other squad. They're bringing you. You're looking pretty good. You're looking pretty spicy. Here. I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna go into the Landorus, and then last but not least, I think we bring everybody but the Rain Squad, right? The Rain Squad's tough, especially if they want to go into Trick Room. Other than that, like, mm, I don't see them doing too hot. So I'm gonna bring in everybody but the Rain Squad, and we're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one with this off meta team. I'm in the Master tier, so we're gonna be playing some good opponents here. This opponent I think is like top, I think it's at 1500. I'm not too sure. I saw the one something. I think it was five. It was either a five or a nine. So top 2,000, we'll say. <laughs> we'll, we'll round out top 2,000. But they end up going into these two. And from here, we shall simply fake you out and just pop Hyper Voices across the board. As much as I want to go into this Hyper Beam, that'd be awesome. Hyper Voice is going to be your play. Doing as much damage as you can. The so Fake Outs can come out here onto the Iron Hands. We're going to make that bad boy flinch. And Cresselia is going to be able to pop the trick room, so... I'm looking to just do some damage, which we just did. We get off some nice damage here. Sneezler's looking okay. It's looking okay. I'm hoping I get off a Dire Claw. And from here, I could just go for Dire Claw straight into you. I just hype your voice across here. And that is going to be my play. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They could have Moonblast rocking but on the crest, but we're part Poison type, which is good. That's what I love about Sneezler. I really like his typing. I love his typing. Look at that thing right into battle. Sneasler just looks like a better Weavile, right? A more battle ready Weavile. <laughs> it's so cool. Even though I love Weavile. We'll see what he wants to do here. Because I know he's in kind of like a tougher spot. He might even end up swapping out the Iron Hand, saving it for later. 
Because if I was him, I'd probably make that play. Be swapping to Ursa? I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see a Terra type come out from somebody. Nice, lovely Terra. Iron Hands? Iron Hands looking to get off some turns here. Iron Hands, of course, is straight steel typing. Most of them are grass, and I was going to be like, okay, that's a waste of a Terra. But this one is perfectly in the steel category. Ready to rip up. He's going to ally switch in. And... Eh. It's okay. Heavy Sun comes out of here. That's not okay, because we're dead to that. And it really hurts, because now... We go for Dire Claw. And it has no effect onto the steel type. A little rough. A little rough. Um... I could go into you and Terrastalize. Um, ch 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 I could go into you and Terrastalize as well, but would Terrastalize didn't do any good for us? No. I said we just go into you and attack. Huh. Okay. You think he's going to ally switch again? Maybe? Possibly? I'm just going to go Sand Seer Storm. Try to land this bad boy in there. You ally switch, you ally switch. That was a great terror type. I think you were KOing me regardless. You might not even have to terrestrialize. The ally switch was a big play there too. But we're looking to waste out some turns here. I could swap for Wochen, which I might do into one of my Pokemon depending on how this turn goes. We'll see. I'm thinking of swapping to Steezer just so I can get a fake out turn later. Hmm. Trick Room's so hard to play up against. I used the Trick Room team in last video. We killed it. Once you get Trick Room set up, your team's really thriving. It ends up withdrawing the Iron Hands. That's fine by me. Who are you going to go into? Go into something stupid. That's not stupid. That's great. It's a great little swap there. Lunar Bless is going to come out here. Yeah. I'm going to heal up Crest a little bit. I'm hoping I get like a poison or something onto it with the Stire Claw. We can get off some nice damage. So Sandshear Storm comes out here. Can you hit somebody? Can you hit the Zoom Rail? Thank you. Ooh, big time damage on the zoom. I love it. I love it. Now Dire Claw is going to fly. Give me something. Give me status condition. Let's go. Big time poison coming out from the Dire Claw. We love it. So we can chuck up some damage. Um. Huh. What do I do from here? Do I just Dire Claw the you and then protect? I'm thinking of that because if a move's gonna come in here, it's probably going to be water move. So I'm just going to protect you. I'm trying to make a read here. I could definitely see a Lunar Blessing coming out here. We're trying to waste out some turns. Definitely try to waste out some turns here. Liquidation. Cool. Liquidation's flying. Show me you're doubling down into that slot. Show me you're doubling down. Now you're going for the Lunar Blessing. Lunar Blessing. Getting some HP back. How much damage are we doing with this Dire Claw? This Claw that is full of Dyers. How much damage are we doing here? And he heals the Poison too, which sucks, man. We're KOing, so that's a big time KO. Lunar Bus is so good. It heals the status conditions too. It just screws me over. I'm sitting here chipping up poison damage. Um, I think from here, if anything, we can, uh, because we know Iron, oh, I thought Iron Hands would come out here. But I'm thinking of just going here. Hard swapping into Wood Chen. And then maybe just throw in a Earth power into the Earth Luna. Actually, we'll sludge bomb over onto you because you might just protect. How many turns are left in Trick Room? I only got one. I say we start trying to get rid of this crest. I'm going to swap the Sneasler and I'm just going to go for a sludge bomb here. Nice, lovely sludge bomb coming at you. Coming at you. So we know who he has in the back end. We know he has Iron Hands. We're trying to get rid of crest here. Because we're wasting out the trick room turns, but Ursaloon is a scary bear. Look at that thing. We know how much damage that thing could do. It is terrifying. It is terrifying. So we sent out Wochen to neglect some damage that could be coming through, and we read the protect. That's actually a solid turn for us, because we get a swap and we get off some damage on the so He's going to Moonblast into the slot. We're super effective, but we soak all day. Special attack's going to drop. Kind of hurts the soul. But still, we're going to Sludge Bomb into you. Poison? No, no poison. So from here, I can definitely see a facade coming out here. And I think from here, we're just going to go foul play into Terrastalize now. And a sludge bomb into that thing. So if I can double down, just get rid of this thing. Because I think, I really do think a facade might come out here. Because then I can always leave Storm next turn. 
They don't have Terra. So yeah, I'm gonna double down the crest. We can't allow Trippin to hop in here. And cool, we're doubling down the crest. That's okay. It's a solid turn, but the only problem would have been we shouldn't have Terrasalized. And I'm hoping Crest doesn't have Protect, right? Because the way that's looking, it's looking like it does have Protect. It is looking like it does have Protect. Because I cannot allow another Trick Room. I really cannot. I simply cannot. It does not. Cool. It does not have Protect. So Sludge Bomb comes in here. We get a crit. And we get rid of Cresselia. That's so big for me. That's so big for me. That is enormous. That is enormous. Um. Hmm. So now he can fake me out. Now he can definitely fake me out. And I think from here, the best play would just be going to Leaf Storm into you. And just try to get rid of you. Or do I protect? I wish I had double protect. I'm just gonna protect you. I don't think you double down. Oh man. Yeah, I'm just gonna protect him. I need to protect him. I need the speed. So I get off a big time protect. Lovely here. Fake out is gonna come into the slot. Let's go. Let's go. Making plays. It always feels good when you when you uh when you outplay trick or things. Leaf Storm now is gonna fly here, do some big time damage on the Ursula and half its HP. And we'll see what Ursula wants going to. A facade here. Which might KO us. And it does not. We love it. We love it. So from here, now I can just Earth Power. I can uh, go into another Leaf Storm. Doing as much damage as I possibly can. And that should pretty much wrap it up. I think I don't think Leaf Storm will KO. But they cancel battle. 1-0. What a good battle for you guys. Hot start for your boy. Rocking out with this off meta team. Hopping into our second match. And it's not getting any easier. Pelipper and Bashka Legion they have just like us. They also have Roar Moon. Iron Bundle who is going to be a huge problem for us. And then they got... Uh, Moltres, Galarian Moltres, I say, and War Moon. And Raichu, if I didn't say Raichu, but yeah, uh, Iron Bundle's gonna be a hot problem for us. It's got Freeze Dry, which will be super effective onto four of our Pokemon. Four of them! That's a huge threat. It's a huge threat. So, how should I play this one, and how should I get after it? Do I set the rain? Do I bring Fake Out User out here? Um, I think we might want to bring Fake Out User. Mm, that's tough. It's so tough, man. So tough. Huh. I could maybe just go Wu Chen for a lead. They have a lot of physical attackers. Let me give a peek. Not really. A little bit, but not really. Um. Hmm. Could go you. You're not a bad lead, little buddy. You are not a bad lead. But you know what? I'm going to lead Rain Squad. I'm going to get the Rain Squad cooking with your Terra type. And I have 10 seconds left to pick. So I better get on this. And I'm going to go you. And I'm going to bring Fake Out Seeds on the back end. Three seconds, we gotta lock it in. This one is going to be a problem. Iron Bundle might shred through me. Might be issue. Iron Bundle might say, come on, man, that's too easy, and just rip through me. I haven't seen Iron Bundle, well, I've been seeing Iron Bundle less and less, but still so good. It is so powerful. It is so powerful. Just freeze dry, it's just such a good move. But out comes the Iron Bundle, I should have guessed it. <laughs> and, uh, and their fake out user. So right now they cannot fake me out. Well, they can only fake out my uh, my Pelipper. So from here, I'm thinking maybe we just helping hand and we terrestrialize and we less respects or do we wave crash? I think wave crash can still do a massive amount of damage onto you. I'm gonna go wave crash with the terror type. With the terror type, just in case he wants to go into freeze shrine to me. But I could see him go fake out into my Pelipper and Freeze Dry into my Pelipper. That is a possibility, but I'm going to say Freeze Dry comes into the Basket Legion slot, because this is exactly why I'm Terrastalized. I am going to Terrastalize. But the reason I go for Helping Hand is because it actually comes out before Fake Out, which is big time. So I can do that. And they go for a Freeze Dry into my Ploops. Okay, they just opted to not go for Fake Out. Okay, that's fine. I guess it's fine. Now I get off a big time wave crash. I know it's not very effective, but still, it's doing a crazy amount of damage. I kind of wish it did a bit more. The thunder's flying here. Ouch. Do not para. No para. So now I can go into you. Uh, gotta fake out the iron bundle. It's 
Santa must have figured out the iron bundle. We must figure out the iron bundle. And then I will just go into the wave crash into the right shoe slot. It might be sashed. It could be sashed. I could have doubled down on right shoe. Maybe I should have just fainted him. But no, he's gonna stay in here, which is great. Cause now I can uh Aqua Jet next turn and finish off the bundle. If this thing's not sash and we stay alive here. And of course it's sash. There's the sash. He's gonna finish me with a thunder. And I hate this game more than anything right now. Good old focus sash. Okay, so from here. Not looking so hot for me. Unless we make a read. Unless we protect read. That's our way of winning this game. And I think we got this. I think I'm gonna make that play. I think Gene's gonna make that play. So I'm gonna throw out him. He knows we have no Terra, and we lost two Pokemon very quickly. So from here, I'm just gonna Dire Claw you, and I'm just gonna protect. A nice, lovely protect. And I'm kind of hoping the Raichu hits my hits my Caesar with a Thunder and doesn't paralyze me, because I can trigger Citrus Berry and Unburden Pop. Awesome. At this point, I gotta protect you. Freeze Dry again just wipes me out. Four times super effective. You gotta believe it's coming this way. Yeah, it does. Cool. We get a nice little blockage. Matches actually Pokemon are dropping left and right. More so my Pokemon are dropping left and right. But we KO the Iron Ball. This is what, like, that Pokemon was the problem. And now we got that going. He's gonna thunder into me. Like I said, half HP me and do not paralyze me. I don't think, I don't think he got paralyzed. I don't know if it comes out after the berry or before. Cool, that's big time. That's big time. I wanted that. I wanted that because now I got a lot of speed cooking for me. Um, I don't think we can eat up another Thunder, so I might have to take out the Raichu. But Basque Legion is going to come out here. Not the Basque. That's just ruined everything. He ruined everything. He ruined absolutely everything. Now I'm just going to get rid of the Raichu and I might try to land double protect because how many turns are left in me? Two. That's too many turns. Do too many turns. I'll go for an Earth Power into you. Actually, I should've just went Sans here. Should've went Sans here. And I should've Dire Clawed into this, this, uh, Basket Legion. So, like Terra-type water. Are you water? Huh. God dang bundle. I, I knew we were gonna get ripped by the bundle. I knew this matchup was no good for the bundle, but he ends up going for Aqua Jet. Could that be a mistake? Can we eat that? Nah, we get absolutely torn through with that. <laughs> we get absolutely torn through. Torn through from that. Dire Claw flies here. And... I don't know what to do. I think it's just game set match, right? Yeah, we get we got ripped up in match number two. Match number two. No bueno. I knew it was going to be a struggle. Iron Bundle just really got after my Pokemon. I think the best lead for us probably should have been Sylveon. Sylveon probably could have did decently well. But now basically he's just gonna come out here dropping this little water move KO us all day. I'm just gonna run this match. So we're one and one. Rough second match from your boy. Let's hop into a third and final match. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys, and it's meta time. We're going up against the meta team. Always tough, always tough. They got Shen Pao Urshu, alongside with Heatran, and then Rillaboom, Fluttermane, and Tornada. So using the off meta teams are always fun, but they're not as fun when you're going up against the meta team because the meta teams really just steamroll through you. But um who should I lead here? How am I going to play this one? Because we know they're going to bring Shen Pao Urshfu. That combo is just ridiculously strong. I feel like rain could be pretty good for us, but giving it the rain to Urshfu could be an issue. Could definitely be an issue. Hmm. Hmm. What could I do here? They could lead Rillaboom. I think Sneezer's going to be a solid lead, so I am going to lead Sneezer. I like the fake out on him. Um... Bum, bum, bum. Could I go maybe Sylveon for lead? I don't think Sylveon's too bad. I'm gonna bring Sylveon here. And then in back end, we might just go Rain Squad. I'm with it. I'll bring Rain for late game. But say we get rid of the Urshfu like that. Then we can just come in with the Rain Squad and try to clean clean up the mess. Especially having Basculation as a back end Pokemon. When more ally Pokemon die, its last respect move gets uh, stronger in power. So having them in the back end could be really good. But I had the teams, man. Hate going up against them, unless I'm using them. Let's see, especially this meta. This meta is kind of annoying me, right? It's it's legit just Shen Pao Urshfu all day. So they're going to end up going into these two. And probably not going into a Tailwind, right? 
I could tear into Ghost, but I like my typing. I'm just gonna double down in the Flutter main here. Go Hyper Voice alongside with a nice, lovely, uh... Oh, well, you're in Protosynthesis Pop. I'm going Hyper Voice alongside with a nice, lovely... Dire Claw. The Dire Claw is able to actually outspeed. Give me his Paralyzed something. And the Dazzle Gleam's gonna come out here. So Dazzle Gleam's going to do a huge chunk of damage. I'm actually super surprised if you're outspeeding like that. Just straight up without Unburden, which was huge. Hyper Voice is gonna fly through here, and it's gonna get rid of Flutter Beam. I like that turn. I like that turn. So chances are we are going to see like Urshifu come out here. Right? Or Shen Pao. One or the other, I feel this has to come out here. And if I get rid of Tornadus, the Rain Squad could be awesome in the back end. We'll see. No, Robo's gonna come out here. So the really comes out here. Um, I'm choosing to Hyper Voice. And I think just doubling down into. Actually, let's do that. Let's actually let's actually double down into. Let's double down into Tornadus. Because again, I really want Weather late game. So whoever they fake out, the other one's gonna probably get off an attack. But that's the thing about Tornadus, especially in the sun. It doesn't really have a lot of moves to use. So he ends up faking out my Sneasler. I'm gonna flinch, that's fine by me. Nice little flinch. And he's gonna go for an Ice Beam. Can we eat that up, Sneasler? Sneasler, you do eat that up. Cool. That's big time eat up. We are now gonna get rid of Tornadus and we'll chunk up some nice damage onto, uh, onto Rillaboom. The Sneasler's still decently fast with Unburden Pop. I'm hoping I can land a Dire Claw into Rillaboom. But I can't believe they didn't bring Shen Pao and Urshifu. One or the other. Now I got rain in the back end. That's huge. That's huge for me. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. Need a little water. Is this Shen Pao? Is Shen Pao coming out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was too good to be true. It's kind of hoping just Urshifu, but Shen Pao on Zone is very strong. So from here, I am going to... Hmm. I'm gonna try to get off the Dire Claw. I'm gonna go Dire Claw Hyper Boost. We're just looking to get off some damage. We have a back end Pokemon look good. And there's the Sucker Punch. The Sucker Punch comes out of here. Sylveon, can you please eat up whatever Wilbum has to offer? What happened? I don't know if you're eating that up. I don't think you are. Yeah, no. These dang meta boys. Alright, so we get we get weather for the rest of the game, which is solid. But again, they got. They got, uh, Robin right there. What's your speed, Pelipper? Because I would love to drop a nice big-time hurricane. You're rather slow. You are a rather slow, low customer. And I think I have to try to slice Basket Legion over... Over Pelipper. I think I have to, right? It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. So, Mir, I'm gonna go into Hurricane here. I believe we're Focus Ash. Let me make sure that we're Sash. We're not. We're safety goggles. Oh, I would love to be Sash right now. But I'm still going to go Hurricane here. Look to finish you off. And got to Terrastalize you. And do I go in Last Respects or do I just go into, like, Aqua Jet? I think I'm going to Aqua Jet. And the reason I want to Aqua Jet is because it's still going to do a nice chunk of damage. And if they're going for Sucker Punch into me, my Aqua Jet should come out here first. Hit up on him. And then Sucker Punch will do nothing. Because it will fail. So, there's a possibility for that. So, I'm going to go Aqua Jet because I do believe it's going to do more than half. And I know Shen Pao is probably sad. So, I just want to do half damage here and half damage to the next one. The big time terror comes out here. Aqua Jet is going to fly. It does not do half, but show me going for Sucker Punch. Cool. Cool. That's fine by me. I'll take that all day. Here goes for Sucker Punch. Another Wood Hammer is coming in hot here. You should eat this up with your terror. You do not? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold up. It really hurts the soul there. This thing is killer damage right now. Woodhammer is absurd. Just think of the damage. It's stab. It's like base like 100 something. And then on top of that, it's got the Shen Pao next to him boost. And the Grassy Terrain boost. No way. So the real question is, do we think Hurricane KO? I think we just rely on our Pelipper. Right? Pelipper should be able to land a Hydro Pump, no problem. He's my boy, Paloops. And I got a lot of faith in him. You gotta eat up a shot, and you gotta land this Hydro Pump. I got a lot of faith in my in my lands. So, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play this game scared. I'm not gonna play this game scared. So, he ends up protecting. It's fine. I'm 
not going to play this game scared. I am coming after you with Hydra Pump. I am going to land this. I'm going to eat up the shot. And I'm winning this game. So let's get back a tad bit more HP. You are dying to this Hydra Pump no matter what. No, no HP matters. Ice Crash comes through here. Can you eat this up, Pelipper? You do. Like I said, my Pelipper, I rely on this guy. He's the GOAT. He's not missing. Let's go. 2 1 for today's video. Awesome winning record. Clutch Hydra Pump from Pelipper in the back end. Little bit of off meta team dominating the meta in today's video. Going 2 and 1, we got a hard loss in match number 2. Iron Bundle absolutely ripped into us. But match number 1, we countered Trick Room. And match number 2, we countered a Shen Pao meta team. Absolutely love this team. Sometimes you just gotta trust your Pokemon to land a shot. That's what I did in the last battle. Pelipper coming up clutch. Love that Pokemon so much. But Sylveon was great. Sneasel was great. Landers hits like a truck. Wo Chen got in some matches. And same thing with Bash Luigi. Always a solid Pokemon in Regulation D. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.